week of controversies, folks, about tweets between people. I can't take names, Kangana and Diana. But that's, I won't take other names. Now, uh, Kangana angry, uh, India angry, lots of Indians angry with Rihanna, the foreigner, talking about India's internal issues. And they say, how dare a foreigner talk about Indian politics or Indian socioeconomic issues? Fair enough, her lawyer, Dr. Vivek Sagar, my friend, he said very clearly that that is just a technicality. She is actually Indian because she was born as a West Indian. <laughs> the week that wasn't. Okay, starting with this, Delhi police. Mm. <laughs> Delhi police have sought details of all Iranian visitors to Delhi in the last one month in connection with the blast outside the Israeli embassy. A cheeky member of the opposition said, if they want to investigate Iranians, shouldn't they start with Smriti Irani? <laughs> I apologize, Smriti, it's not me. This is some other idiot who was saying that. I just heard it while having chai. <laughs> Funnily though, India continues to be the outsourced capital of the world. See, even the Israeli-Iranian dispute has been outsourced to India. Why? Well, rumor had it there was going to be a COVID tax. Well, after lockdowns, economic meltdown, rampant death and disease spread, pay a tax for loss of livelihood and life, it would have made sense. It would have been a smart thing to do. I'm disappointed in this budget in terms of the COVID tax not happening. A novel way to stop human-elephant conflict is to use honey bees. Yep, hives erected in the area act as a deterrent to elephants who stay away from the bees. I say we adapt this to our building situations. Instead of watchmen, uh, you just keep the bees. <laughs> if they can keep out an elephant, what's a chore gonna do? Chore kya karega? One bee! One bee! The smiling crater on Mars. Take a look at this picture. Okay, now, today it has a wider smile than ever before. Apparently, thermal erosion has caused the mouth to get happier. Oh, there's another theory. And that is the biggest smile is due to the fact that there is no COVID on Mars. As yet. As yet. Elon Musk is going there, huh? somebody's going there. <laughs> Frankly, folks, I'm bored with this COVID-19, COVID-19. Enough of it. Can we not have a new disease now? <laughs> What's, who said Kangana? <laughs> not funny. I'm a fan. Not funny. You stop that. Okay, finally, some funny news in Myanmar, Burma. The army announced that they would abide by the constitution. <laughs> <laughs> you take over and jam, following the book. Oh. By the way, please don't call us on this show because apparently mobile phones are to get costlier after the budget. So that's our way of giving back to you. You don't have to call us. Save your money, don't buy phones. Lots more coming up, but first the headlines. Kangana defends India's honor. India to invest in disinvestment. And India's neighbor Myanmar disintegrates. Now, before we go into our top story, I just want to tell everybody, remind you, Valentine's Day is coming up in a few days. Think about it. Now, we spent lots of time together in the last year because of the lockdown and uh, COVID-related issues. So maybe the right thing to do is avoid each other for a few days. Just a thought. Now, our top story. Kangana defends India's honour. Rihanna tweeted, Rihanna is a personal friend and a singer. Why aren't we talking about this? Take a look at that. Uh, farmers protest hashtag to which Kangana tweeted her fitting reply. I thought no one is talking about it uh, Kangana accent because there are not farmers. They are terrorists who are trying to divide India so that China can take over our vulnerable broken nation and make it a Chinese colony much like USA <laughs> Sit down you fool. We are not selling a nation like you dummies That's not me telling you to sit down. That's her telling Rihanna to sit down but I got news that Rihanna was already sitting down when she was tweeting. Most people don't stand and tweet for some reason. There's a correlation in sitting and tweeting. Rihanna, folks, is one of the most beautiful and talented women in the world. And Kangana... Hey, okay say bol. Yeah, 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 of course. Most beautiful and talented woman in the world is Kangana. All right? So, let's go straight and talk to Kangana because I do have the ability to pick up the phone, call her or tweet her and she answers. She's been splendid. This is what she had to say on the controversy. Kangana talks to... <laughs> Thank you, Cyrus Brocher Sr. This is Cyrus Brocher Jr. here talking to Kangana Renaud. I'm one of only two news anchors who got the privilege of doing an interview with you, Kangana. Thank you. You're a big fan of the show. So my first question to you is, when do you watch the week that wasn't? Every morning or afternoon or evening. Every morning, afternoon, evening. Wow. And does the show do anything to you, Kangana? Does it do anything to me? No, it doesn't. But maybe, but you love the show. You love it. No. No, but okay, forget the show, you do love me. No, not at all. Oh, don't be like that, we go back a long way, I'll ask again, Kangana, do you 
Well, maybe. <laughs> maybe where I come from is 93% yes. I'm, I'm going to live with that. That's fine. Now let's talk about the controversy at hand about the Rihanna tweet. Uh, your views on Rihanna. Oh, 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 she doesn't exist. <laughs> come on, there was a tweet that came from her. From her. It doesn't belong to an individual. It belongs to society. Okay. I don't want to get countries involved in going to war and all that. So I'm just going to ask you this point blank. Give me one word, a one word reaction to the tweet from Rihanna. Kangana, please. Um. Mm, yes, yeah, I, that sums it up for me as well. I, I would go with that. I would live with that as well. Just want to uh, segue here for a second. We are meeting on the 25th, right? You and me, we have that date. Quite excited about it. So am I. So am I. Do you remember, Kangana, when we first met? That was the happiest phase of my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mine too. Mine too. But then the fight started. It's not that, that you know, we had some dishum dishum fight. <laughs> uh, true, true. I mean, bittersweet, uh, sugar and spice. But we had some great times. We did, we did. Uh, what did, what did you feel? Oh, I can't really, I, I can't really explain the feeling. <laughs> but we had a good chemistry. So I'll just put it this way: What, according to you, then, is my greatest quality? This, 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 this. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, this. <laughs> This? 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 I, I'm, I, God, you got me. Okay, I listen, my friend Kunal Vijaykar, our director, he wants a mention here. So, what do you think of him? What are your thoughts on the director of TWTW? Good for nothing. This is what I admire about you. You always tell the truth. You're always hitting the nail on the head. Good for nothing, that director Vijaykar. Uh, I'll, just, I'll just go on with this. Uh, no point asking any more questions. Chalo, we'll see you later. Because you seem to know everything. Yeah, it's not like I know everything, it's just that uh, you're too honest. And that's difficult for us to put on our show. Our show is like semi-honest. It's all about semi-honest. Thank you, Kangana, for being with us. Thank you so much. Ah, that was Kangana and Cyrus. What chemistry, what poetry. I think you should cast these two as leads in a film. I'm just suggesting that, throwing it out there. Maybe instead of queen, we can do king. No, Kangana will play king. I'm, just, I'm not going to play king. I mean, she's bigger, no doubt about that. Okay, now let's talk budget. Some salient points which we'll explain through our expert, as in we'll explain the points through our expert. Uh, here's the question, Dr. Gupta, thanks for being on the show. Great to have you. I love your work in the field of economics. Uh, here's the question. Delayed deposit of employees' contribution provident fund and ESIC would disentitle the employer from claiming the same as business deduction. Now, is it a retro amendment A? And can you just throw light on the entire process for us? Please, sir. Can you repeat the question? Okay, we seem to have lost the feed or something. There's some technical difficulty we're experiencing. Please understand, change in weather causes this all the time. What? It's been the same weather for the last three weeks. But whatever, there's some problem. We'll get back to him. We'll talk to our expert in a bit. In the meantime, talking the budget, one of the highlights of Nirmala Sitharaman's budget this week was the bold push to sell government assets, not including people who work for the government. Now, this likely includes non-performing government assets from PSUs, banks, insurance companies, to land and rail corridors. So, joining us allegedly from the finance ministry is the alleged special officer for disinvestment and privatization, Mr. S.K. Bechdalo. <laughs> Mr. Bechdalo. Yes, S.K. Bechdalo here. Subkuch Bechdalo. SK as in sub coach and the surname is Bech Dalo. You decide, ladies and gentlemen. You, you make up your own mind on this, what's going to come forward from here. So the government has finally decided that they want to disinvest all these non-performing entities? Yes, yes, like all non-performing assets like Air India, BPCL, Shipping Corporation of India, IDBI Bank, TWTW. Excuse me, why? Hey, TWTW? And also non-performing entities like stand-up comedians. Only a solution, bitch talo, bitch talo. Selling stand-up comedians. What kind of budget is this? But the companies were run by your people, the government. Is that why they turned sick? I mean, that is one way of looking at it. The other way to look at it, that it is natural progression. Only solution, bitch talo, bitch talo. Well, stop saying that, I'm getting scared. What do you mean natural progression? Like, IDBI Bank has been suffering from depression, mental and physical. <laughs> Shipping Corporation was suffering from sepsis. Each organ was failing. BPCL had hemophilia, meaning it was bleeding very heavily. And Air India, though, you know, first of all, so old, 90 years old, plus so many comorbidities. 
COVID was bound to attack Air India. I see, I see, one second, one second. Okay, go on. It is still on ventilator. Only solution, bitch dalo, bitch dalo. Bitch dalo, bitch dalo. So government will just get rid of all these great old icons? Of course they will. Did they not get rid of Advani and Vajpayee? Is that the phrase people are using? Anyway, uh, go on. See, we are living in economically very difficult times. Government needs liquidity. You can either get money from the people or sell off things. I get the picture. I get the picture. Government is thinking of selling other things as well. Maybe some real estate. Real estate? Is it like what? Like say Jawaharlal Nehru Memorial Botanical Garden, <laughs> Jawaharlal Nehru Park, Jawaharlal Nehru Stadium, and everything named after Jawaharlal Nehru. <laughs> Only solution, bitch dalo, bitch dalo. I see you didn't mention JNU for some reason. <laughs> Difficult to get a buyer. Okay, go on, go on. Also, maybe a few things named after Indira Gandhi. Indira Gandhi International Airport, Indira Gandhi Rashtri Academy, Indira Gandhi... Okay, 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 we get the picture, we get the picture. What else does the government want to sell? Is there anything else? Oh, there are several, several non-performing assets in the government right now. Ah, give me an example. Like, say, in Maharashtra, there is one big non-performing asset. Which one? Devendra Fadanvis. <laughs> Only solution, bech dalo, bech dalo. Kharide ka korn lekin. <laughs> ah, no, that's not fair, that's not fair. That's absolutely wrong. I, I won't accept that. Uh, also, there is a lot of uh, real estate that is owned by the government and is of no value whatsoever. Useless, useless. A real estate that nobody thinks is worth anything, like what? Like the CBI office building. <laughs> After all, it is the 11 stories building in prime Delhi real estate. CBI office, you know, no? But when will you shift the CBI? Uh, not sure yet. But in any case, the CBI is already working out of the Home Ministry and PMO. Ah, seems like this government is trying to become extremely streamlined. Yes, no waste of time, no waste of resources. In fact, we are already trying to understand how we can make the new Central Vista project super efficient by getting rid of unwanted structures which have little use in governance. Really? Like what? Which structure? Parliament House. <laughs> what is the use? What is the use? Huh? His words, not ours, and his name is S.K. Bech Dalo. <laughs> Some kuch Bech Dalo. You just judge on that. Judge on that. In the meantime, Dr. Gupta is back and the feed is working. Good news. Sir, I'll go straight to the question. We don't have too much time on the episode. Dr. Gupta, transfer of business undertakings for non-monetary consideration, such as exchange for any asset, such as shares, will now attract tax on capital gains from financial year 2020-21. Once again, I ask you, is this a retro agreement and can you shed some light on this? Yes, Cyrus. Uh, I am having trouble with the feed, uh, so give me some time. No, I, I checked with our cameraman, the feed is fine, you're just making excuses, what's the problem? Does he want money? Is that it? What's the guy's called Bech Dalo, the next guy wants uh, money from us, I mean, what's going on? This is no, please understand, we don't pay for people who come on this channel. We never pay. We, we actually, not only do we not pay, but at the end, uh, we have to ask them not to come again. Because there's some rules and regulations. When you tweet, there will be consequences. Don't just tweet. Don't just bloody tweet. Think before you tweet. We'll take a break, then we'll come back. Anything but COVID coming up right now. Shashi Tharoor says the BJP government reminds him of the garage mechanic who told his client, I'm quoting the tweet, I couldn't fix the brake, so I made your horn louder. Some BJP stalwart has said, next time Tharoorji wants our brakes done, just tell him, fix your horn. <laughs> fix your horn? That's not going to be tweetable ever again. <laughs> Let's talk cricket. The first test has started. Rahane versus Kohli. Some people are saying, uh, of course, there was an awkward moment when Rahane tried to move a fielder. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> habit hota bhai, habit hota bhai. You are, what do you, I mean, you know, you've been the captain for three test matches and then you come back and then you know, it happens. I, don't, leave it, leave it, leave it there, leave it there. They're both wonderful. One good thing is our cricket team. 50% capacity allowed for the second test, also in Chennai. I think that's really ambitious because a few years ago, we struggled to get even 25% spectators in a stadium in India for a test match. And there was no pandemic then. So 50% kaase aega? It's red ball cricket, Baba, red ball. Speaking of red ball, we'll go across uh, continents 
In fact, there's no connection with any red ball. Straight to Ambika, and Ambika is going to tell us what's happening in Canada stroke America. Yes, Ambika ji. Hi, Cyrus. Great to see you after a little break, Ambika. Please tell us what you got. With Trump out of the office, Americans can finally focus on the important issues that are facing their country, such as the battle over GameStop. After last week's unprecedented events where a group of Reddit investors outsmarted Wall Street hedge funds, a lot of Americans are asking the same question. Should I become a day trader? Here at The Week That Wasn't, we feel like it's our responsibility to warn you about the dangers of careless investing. Please take a look at this important message. Were you inspired by the Reddit investors? Are you thinking about becoming a day trader? Well, I have a message for you. Amateur investing hurts people. Hedge funds, billionaires, even investment bankers. I should know. My husband lost to the Reddit investors and now, we might have to sell one of our yachts. Market manipulation is wrong and immoral. Unless you work at a hedge fund. Stay safe out there. The stock market can be a dangerous place. Back to you, Cyrus. I've got some sad news. Especially if you were a tourist in Burma last week. Yes, that's true. In a serious blow to democracy, well, this week, Myanmar's military seized power in a coup, overthrew an elected government and detained Myanmar's civilian leader, Aung San Suu Kyi. I think that's how you pronounce it. No disrespect. I wish you just have a common name like Raju. I always feel when you have four or five names, have a Raju as an option. So we can all talk about you without going stumble bumble, awkward, awkward. Do you know about the Burmese leader Aung San Kyu Chi? Raju, I talk about it all the time. Okay, that's not the issue. The issue is not about my stupidity. It's about a coup that happened. So let's go straight to Myanmar and find out what's happening there. Joining us there from the Burmese, I think it's pronounced Hunta, is General Win Tin. Yes, my name Win Tin, <laughs> son of Tin Win, grandfather Win Tin Tin, great grandfather. Stop. Win, win. Stop, 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 stop. Before I carry on, stop. Because that is not an authentic Burmese accent. It is not even an authentic Chinese accent, which is like a racist moment here because they're not even the same country because you're causing a geopolitics to go crazy. Awkward moment for all of us. But I get it, you're also a businessman? Yes. We have a company called Wing Tin Manufacturers. Wing Tin Manufacturers. You can't make that up. He's telling the truth. And what do you manufacture? Tin. Tin? You're not that tin when I look at you. You're also an army man, right? Yes. I manufacture tin and in army I win. My name Win Tin. It should be Tin Win because you said tin first and win second. Why correct you? That's right. Now we've, we've got all that out of the way. Let's talk about the coup in Myanmar and why is it coup and not coup? Or why is it coup and not coup? Go ahead. Actually, the coup was meant to happen long ago. Again, I'm distressed with the accent. Is this because you don't get real people to come from the country we're talking about and we just use whoever's available? Now, it was supposed to have happened a long time ago, but why did it not happen? Because the coup got man delay. You get You get You get You get You get man delay. <laughs> Mandalay is the least of the problems here. Your puns are appreciated. The problem is I don't think you're authentic. What is going to happen to the people of Myanmar, whoever you are, sir? Myanmar, those with money will try and migrate to another country. I myself am planning to shift my business and migrate. But what about the country? You'll just leave the country burning? I don't know what will happen. I don't know. All I know is when I go, I Yangon. Did you say Yangon? No. You get me? You get me? I Yangon. 
Are you punning again? What, uh, let's talk about Myanmar seriously. Look at what's happening in your country if you care for your motherland. Uh, Myanmar, it is a country that is confused. Very confused. <laughs> One minute. This sounds straight out of Beijing. Bad accent. This is nowhere next to Rangoon. Okay, why do you say that? You see, confused. Fur is seem like we are not on this earth at all, but like we are completely on another planet. <sighs> another planet? That is why people from Myanmar are called Myanmarians. <laughs> get it, get it, get it. No Martians. <laughs> are you trying to be funny with your wrong accent? Okay, go on. Uh, country very confused. We are close to India. We are close to China, we are close to Thailand, but our famous leader is named after a Japanese dish. What Japanese dish? Sushi. Aung San Sushi. Raju would, have, Raju would have been the best way to go with this. It's Sun Chi. You know she won the Nobel Peace Prize, you know that, yeah? Yes, yes, yes. Of course we know that she won the Nobel Peace Prize. That is adding to more confusion. What confusion? See, she bought home the Nobel in 1991, but in 2021, we are still looking for the peace part. Where is the peace? Where is the peace? Oh, I get it. So the peace fell out of the prize, hence, you know, we got the prize and no peace. Got it. I get what you're saying, but there must be hope. Isn't there some positive thought here? Well, uh, Myanmar, a Buddhist country, mm, but very confused. You're saying the Buddhists are confused? Very confused, very confused. Ask me why, I tell you why. <laughs> why? Myanmar, only country in the world where even calm, peaceful Buddhists are terrorists. Oh, I think that's horrible. You can't say that. That's not right. That's wrong. Your accent is wrong. Your look is wrong. The army uniform is from another country. Your, your, your face is too big for the screen. You shouldn't be allowed. You should be a country on your own. In fact, you are a country on your own and I will not disregard all the remarks. We apologize to anybody from any race or nationality for anything this person says because everything he says is just so wrong. Oh, Dr. Gupta is back. I hope you can answer this one, Dr. Gupta. It's an easier one. Now, the tax audit requirement comes into play only if the threshold of the revenue is 10 crores or more. Previously, this was 5 crores. However, this limit applies only if 95% of the receipts and payments of the business tax payer are via digital transactions. So, can you just explain the whole thing in for the Ahmadbi? You explain. Why? You're the expert. You explain. No, I mean you explain. Then I'll explain your explanation. You'll explain my explanation? Yes. You talk too fast. Everything you say has to be explained. Acha, so you can't answer the question, so you're saying all this? I answered the question. Now I need your explanation to be explained by me to complete my answer. Dr. Gupta, can I say one thing? You don't appear to be the economist that you claim to be. You seem to know nothing about the budget. Can you explain the budget, yes or no? Yes, I can. Okay, then in a short summary, last chance, please explain, in your words, the budget, 221. Um, uh, the arithmetic of this budget is based on the hope of a sharp bounce back in the government revenue on the heels of the 14.4% growth in the GDP. What? With the total number hey, stop, of stop, stop, stop. Cheater. Cheater, I saw it. I can see it now. I can see it, by the way. We can actually see it. You are reading from a newspaper. Who the hell are you, sir? Who? See, I am just trying to locate a clinic here which gives free vaccines to doctors. But you just started talking to me. Yeah, but that's not my fault. My cameraman Prakash said that the guy is ready and I'm just following it up. It's Prakash's fault. But you are a doctor of economics, right? So you're not a medical doctor. You can't get this uh, shot. You're not, you don't be a medical doctor. Shh, so silly. Please don't tell everyone or else I will have to pay for it. <laughs> by the way, the expenditure that will be done by stop, the stop. government. You're, you're a fraud. You're talking rubbish. We don't want to hear anything more. You're just reading from a newspaper. It's pointless, fraudulent. And let me tell you, this whole show has been fraudulent. I myself am very insincere, pretty fraudulent. That actor playing the Burmese general. I mean, come on. That was as fraud as you can get. And the guy... The other guy who came on for a couple of minutes, who was he? Before you, Dr. Gupta, I can't even remember. All frauds, 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 country of frauds. I'll tweet about it. I'm going to tweet about it right now. You watch my tweet. You read my tweet. My tweet will change the world. Listen to my tweet.
Oh no, the, the line is wrong. What is the last line? Go back, go back. So I'll just take that to your because the coup got to be explained to me. Nah, sorry. My bus was a little tilt up. Ready? A lot of Americans are. Links, links, links. No, no, Philip, where is the link? No, I don't want. Uh, I'm okay. Okay, I'll do it again. Rolling.